So it wasn't one month ago that I made the announcement that I was pulling a lot of my stuff off of Printful, or at least putting it behind the fence, behind the closet doors, because uh, they just weren't able to accommodate what I needed them to accommodate. But as I've said before in the past, the more things stay the same, the more they change. So it's been a month, things have changed with Printful, and we're gonna talk about it. Let's go. What's going on everybody? My name is Dave Conry. I'm an artist designer based in Southern California and today what we're going to be talking about is the resurgence of print on demand until they change it on us again. That's right folks, Printful has decided that they're going to open up some more stuff. They're going to allow some more flexibility, decrease their turnaround times, they're quickly ramping up their fulfillment times, really getting themselves in check except for a few little places and it's great. Right about the same time that COVID-19 is starting to really pick up speed. I don't know if this is going to last. I don't know if this is gonna stay this way for a while or if it's going to kind of peter out because they're gonna have to shut everything down again. We don't know. I'm only saying this for the record right now, but right now is a good opportunity. You haven't done so already. Right now is a good opportunity to get back into Printful if you wanna do anything except for t-shirts. Let me explain. But not before I tell you, hey, do me a favor, like this video, subscribe to the channel, put the bell button so you never miss a thing, and share with your friends. Trying to get that out as fast as I possibly can so we can get to the work, because sometimes I meander. By me explaining it is not helping. Anyway, so if we look at the screen, when I go to Printful's website and I start scrolling through the different products that they have available, they have quite a few that are listed right now. You will see conspicuously off of this list, are a lot of things, namely t-shirts. Not a whole lot of t-shirts. I mean, you've got this embroidered shirt and it is interesting because there are some things that they do have available that they aren't showing here. Let me go in here and actually show you what I'm talking about. If I go to men's clothing and I click on t-shirts and I wanna select one of these t-shirts to turn into a garment, it will let me get to a certain point and then it will stop me. So here's the dashboard for my particular shop. I've got a few things going on, but let's just say I wanted to add a product. Let's go add product and I'm just gonna click on men's clothing and shirts and you'll see right now, temporarily unavailable. These are the shirts, like if I just wanna put a single design on the front, on the back, or maybe on the sleeve, they've got that different option. If I wanted to do that, this is where I would go. Those are completely unavailable, except in one particular area and that is all over print. You see these here are available, but that means that they are all over print. They are cut and sew, they meaning they print the whole thing out on a sheet of whatever fabric that they're using, and then they cut and sew everything together. That's great, except these ones are, as you can see, significantly more expensive. If you wanted to do an all over print shirt, that's great, but it's gonna cost you more, and therefore you have to charge more in order to get your margin. I mean, you could charge less, but why would you even bother? It's possible, you can do that. What the upside to this is that if you go back here, and what wasn't available before are things like, uh, where is it, like laptop bags, those weren't available, drawstring bags weren't available, fanny packs, backpacks, none of these things were available, pillows, Pillows were not available before, but they are now. Mugs are doing good. The turnaround time on mugs is so fast. I swear, I got a mug ordered yesterday. It was already printed and shipped out today. So if you're into the coffee mug thing and you've got a coffee thing or tea thing, you've got a, a, a brand that you can do on coffee mugs, now's the time to get there because they are pumping those things out. In fact, when I talk about that, there's this one post and I will link to this in the description because this is an important post. They update this all the time. This is the COVID-19 updates for Printful and it shows you all of this information about what their production's been like. But the most important part is this section down here. Direct to garment is 12 to 17 business days, which is still an extended period than normal, but it was up to 22 to 30 days. So it's gone down quite a bit, almost in half of what it was just a month ago. All over print is still, takes a little bit of time. Uh, embroidery still takes some time, sublimation is taking a little bit of time, but all these other things, wall art, phone cases, jewelry, face masks, stickers, mugs, all this stuff is moving pretty quickly right now. They are back up to speed in that space and so that's good. Once I can start adding new designs for t-shirts, I'll be great, I'll be golden because I've got all these designs that I've been wanting to put on t-shirts but they won't allow me to. Now, if you've had designs on t-shirts before through Printful, then you still get to sell those designs but because 
I didn't really put a lot of my stuff onto t-shirt designs. I haven't really been able to do that. Let's talk about Printify because last time when we talked, I said that Printify was still impacted by COVID, but not nearly as bad as Printful. Well, the roles have reversed. Printify has still got quite a bit. In fact, some of their production companies. And again, just to give you a difference here, Printful does all of their production within their own company. Printify is more of like a third party. Go and you put their files in there through the Printify system, and then they ship it out to whatever company you choose to have it shipped to to do the work. So they're just kind of like an aggregator of your information. You get a sale, it goes to them, and then they dish it out to who they feel is the one that was, or you probably picked one with them. Hopefully you picked the right one because some of these are pretty good. Two to five days for all this stuff. Two to five days for all this stuff. If you want to do something all the way in China or 68 days, 12 to 29 days. This is what's the problem. Some of these are still temporarily closed, but 12 to 29 days for DTG to go, which is one of their main purveyors. A lot of delay here. Now there's some that are still doing okay and you could probably find them, but it's like, these are like the guys that do specific things. Like the socks, the mugs, the pillows, things like that. The t-shirt guys, that's all these guys. And all of them are pretty heavily impacted still. The point being folks is that if you are looking to build a print on demand business right now is the time, especially if you want to get in on accessories like pillows and blankets and beach towels and mugs and things like that, right now is a good time. You can also maybe get into some of those all of our print shirts. I've added some of those to my own shop. You can get into those if you want, but again, they're going to be a little bit more pricey, but you can get into them if you want on Printful. And then soon i'm sure it's going to happen pretty soon they're going to open up direct to garment pretty quickly here because i you know looking at that information again 12 to 17 days that's pretty close to where they were before they started going in lockdown if that gets down to somewhere between 5 to 10 business days or 5 to 12 business days then i guarantee you they're going to open up that production again don't quote me on that. That's just my expectation, but it could happen. So if you are planning on doing t-shirts or other direct-to-garment items where you put a particular design on one thing, then start just building those designs now and getting them ready to go into the queue because at some point you're going to be able to just launch that. And actually what you could do, here's my file library of all these different files that I've created over the last several weeks and months. And I'm just loading all these up and putting them in there because at some point I'm going to use them. At some point I'm going to put them on a shirt on some sort of other directed garment thing and they're ready to go. And all I got to do is now, it's just one part in the chain of doing that stuff, but it's yeah, that's one thing I can do. That's one thing I can do to get ready for when they open the doors on that direct garment stuff. I'm not big into sports metaphors, but if this was baseball, I'd be standing on the batter's box and ready to get up there because I know, I know my time's coming and I'm ready to knock it out of the park. I'm gonna, I would be that guy standing on the plate pointing to the wall because I'm going to be making all kinds of stuff and nobody's going to stop me. A printful stopping me right now, but soon nobody is going to stop me. People have to buy my shirts, so that's kind of a stop in me. But uh, for anybody who is buying my shirts, you're not going to stop me. Of course, you wouldn't want me to stop because I'd be making a shirt for you. So you're going to be there helping me throw me a softball. I don't know what I'm talking about, folks. Uh <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much all I just want to get across to you is that Printful is ready to go. So if you have been looking to do your uh, print on demand type business, man, let's get going. Let's get going. Let's start doing it now. COVID ramping up. Things could change again, just like that. It could change right back and I'd be back here making another video in a month and saying, you know what guys, sorry, but uh, things change. Nature of the business, but I'm going to take advantage of what I can right now. And so should you. Hey folks, that's all I got left. But if you are still hanging out and I hope you are, I hope you go down to the comments section and you tell me, what do you think about the situation? What are you going to do as soon as they open the doors on that direct to garment printing? What are you going to submit? What are you going to sell? What are you going to push? I want to know all about it. Or if you have any other questions about Printify or Printful or any of these other printed printants, put them in the comments and then we'll talk about them. But while you're headed down to the comments, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe and then you hit that bell because you never want to miss a thing. And of course, share it with all your homies. Okay, thanks very much, folks. I appreciate you so much. I will see you next week. Let's look at the calendar. Next week, we're going to be talking about the creative content playbook journal thing. Big news about that. Well, not really big news. News about that. Until next time, remember folks, be good today, be even better tomorrow. See ya. What?